you know, we all have been musicians for a long time, and I think we all have a lot of experience in improvised music settings of different kinds, you know, where we're dealing with those aspects of chance and, and questions of how do you interact with a, a sound that's happening at this moment? Do I do something with it? Do I do something against it? Do I ignore it? Do I cover it over, you know, do I interrupt it, all those kinds of strategies, you know, so it's, it's a sim, I mean, we do treat it as a, I think, as a musical performance, and so, yeah, we're listening to those musical aspects of each sound, and thinking of, yeah, what, how we want to contribute at any moment, you know. really go about it in a not very systematic way, you know, really just kind of whatever catches my ear. You know, there's active field recording and then there's kind of um, recontextualization of that. And, um, and sometimes I think of it as a kind of um, morphology uh, to take it out of context um, to create a, a new morphology for that sound and a new um, a new dimension for it. And so sometimes for me um, field recording does have a, that kind of um, almost a spiritual dimension because um, because things that make sound are, you know, vibrate and are alive in that sense. And, um, so I, I feel very connected, connected that way. One of the basic ideas of the group is that we don't do any processing of sounds, um, other than choosing how we record them, and then once they're recorded, choosing when to start it and stop it and maybe kind of loudly to play it and creating you know volume envelopes and things like that but other than that yeah. maybe some i don't know once in a while there's some touch of eq or something but nothing that would really alter the character of the sound so that's part of the interest is to see what you can do with the sound as it is favorite recording is like my favorite way of recording is to sort of be always ready for moments like this of something that's like maybe even a familiar sound like a pipe organ is not an unfamiliar sound but in this really kind of strange setting that you wouldn't it wasn't you know, a performance hear. but you're hearing sometimes we'll hear something we'll think about recording and I'll hear something and it's like oh I should be recording this but then I'll just start hearing more things as I'm kind of in that listening mode I tend to think more about things that I don't want to record and go for some little, maybe some little detail that's special about it. Um, sort of like let, the, let the, the, the place dictate it a little bit and sort of try to follow the sound the way like my eye might follow sound sources. It's like uh, taking the recording experience and then having a new one at the same time. You know, like when I'm recording the sounds, I'm, I'm recording. 
I don't know what's going to happen, and sometimes it's, it sounds so so beautiful the way things come together.